animated documentary channels are popping off like crazy recently, pulling in millions of views on every video. Professional studios usually charge thousands of dollars for animations like these, and if you want to make them yourself, you'd need years of 3D design experience. But wait, what if I told you there's actually a way to create these exact same animations in under 30 minutes, using nothing but AI? Today, I'm going to show you the exact blueprint I used to create cinematic 3D animations that look like they were made by professionals. But before we start, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos covering the best AI tools. Alright, let's start with step 1. Creating the prompts. Believe it or not, but this is where 90% of people mess up already because they don't know what they're doing. Don't worry though, I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. First, open ChatGPT and search for Documentary Style 3D Image Generator. Now, you've got two options, and choosing the right one will save you hours of frustration. Option 1. You can paste an existing image, maybe a screenshot from a documentary video you liked, or any other reference photo. ChatGPT will analyze the style and composition, then create a prompt for an image in that same exact style. However, I would go with option number two, using ChatGPT to write out a prompt based on your own instructions rather than a reference picture. Most people's prompts look like this, and then wonder why their results look terrible. Here's what you actually need to do. You have to think like a cinematographer. Describe the lighting, the mood, the camera angle, and the textures as detailed as possible. These details make the difference between amateur look and Hollywood quality. Remember that the result can only get as good as the prompt you give the AI. However, there's still more we need to do because we actually need two prompts, one for the image generation and a completely separate one for the animation. So when you're in that GPT, make sure to specifically ask for both. And don't forget the camera movement. A static shot kills engagement and even makes the best scenes look boring. If you're not familiar with camera movements like dolly, pan, or crane shots, just describe what you want the camera to move like. For example, camera slowly moves from left to right with a subtle zoom. That should work just fine since this GPT model is specifically trained to understand both technical and plain language. Now, once the GPT gives you those two prompts, it might ask if you want it to generate the image right away. Do not make the mistake and say yes. ChatGPT's image generation is good, but there's actually a much better method that gives you way more control and consistently better results, which I'm going to show you in step two. Step two, generating high quality images that we can later animate. Head over to openart.ai and click on image in the navigation menu. Now, paste in that first prompt for the image we just created, but don't click on create just yet. There's actually a few adjustments we need to make first. Start off by choosing an image model that best fits your style. Take your time to test out as many as possible because picking the wrong one will ruin your entire aesthetic. However, for that documentary style realism, I recommend three specific models. Nano Banana, this one's perfect for stylized but realistic humans. Sea Dream 4, it's great for environments and atmospheric scenes. Or Google Image Gen 4, when you need that extra photorealistic touch. After you found an image model you like, don't forget to set the output size to a 16 to 9 ratio to match the requirements for YouTube long form videos. Then click on Create and wait till the AI finishes creating the image. Usually, open art is incredibly accurate, and you only have to generate one to two images per scene to get a result you can work with. That's why I recommend using open art over any other image generation model. It's just so responsive and optimized for these kind of images. But hold up, we've got a big problem now. These images aren't 4K quality, which is the standard for documentary style animations. 1080p quality just doesn't look as crispy and clean. Don't panic though, I've got an easy solution for this that I'll reveal in just a minute. But first, we need to actually bring these images to life and start animating them. And this is where things get really exciting. What used to take me 8 to 12 hours in Blender now takes literally 2 minutes. Head over to cdanceai.net and upload your image by dragging it into the blue box. Remember that second prompt we created earlier? This is where we need it. Paste the movement prompt and set the resolution to 1080p and the duration to either 5 or 10 seconds depending on your scene and movement. If you have a scene with a lot of sequential movement, like a person opening a door and then drinking a coffee, better choose 10 seconds so the AI does not mess things up trying to squeeze it into a 5 second clip. When you're done, click on Generate Video and wait for the AI to finish. Yes, it takes slightly longer, but the quality of the video will be much better than any other image-to-video generation tool. Out of all the image-to-video services, Seadance is by far the best. Not only does it follow everything you include in the prompt, but it also has the best quality and is the most consistent without creating weird artifacts like Runway or Pika. 
However, our big problem remains. We're still stuck with 1080p resolution. But as I promised, I've already found the solution for that. We can get rid of the bad quality by upscaling the video with Topaz AI. So here's how to do that. Open Topaz and import your video. Then just copy the same exact settings that I use. This doesn't just upscale your video. It also enhances details, reduces noise, and adds that crispy sharpness to your scene. And that's literally it. Now you have an amazing 4K quality 3D animation just like professional YouTubers. If this video helped you out, consider joining the waitlist for my YouTube automation program launching soon. There, I'll reveal the exact strategies on how you can turn YouTube into a $10,000 a month business and enjoy your life to the fullest.